What is up guys, little dog dog here. Today we're doing the quest for Roving Elves. Um, for this quest, all you're going to need is Glariel's Pebble. If you don't have Glariel's Pebble, you can get it from the gnome you got it from in Waterfall Quest. And you're going to need a rope. The rest of the items you need for this quest, I'll show you how to get during the quest so you don't have to go out of your way to get them. As I said, if you didn't have Glarios Pebble, you can get it from the gnome in the Tree Gnome Village. He's located in the dungeon. After you've started the quest Roving Elves, and if you still need the uh, pebble, after you've started, he will no longer be locked in his cage. So you have to go down into this dungeon, and he will have locked the goblins in the cage that are located in this dungeon, and he'll be out. All you have to do is talk to him and tell him something along the lines of, I've lost the pebble, can you give me another? And he'll give you another pebble to get into Glarios' tomb. I'm also going to recommend you bring a couple items. Um, this being around 10 food, uh, you'll have an opportunity to bank, so you don't need to have it on you right at the beginning. I'll tell you when you can bank. Uh, an anti-poison for the start of the quest, and to bring a recoil as if to fight a level 61 without a weapon. Um, the quest requirements for this quest are the waterfall quest and regicide, including all the quests up to regicide. So if you have regicide done, you don't have to worry about the quests that um, come before that. But if you don't have regicide done, and you need to get it done, make sure you have the prerequisites done before you start this quest. There are no skill requirements for this quest specifically, but you do need high enough combat stats to be able to defeat a level 61 moss giant unarmed. Like I said, you can use that ring of recoil and just bring enough food, um, but you do have to defeat that monster without any equipment on. And I just want to throw this in here. Uh, I do have a new French chat channel. Uh, just join little dog like 15 if you want, uh, if you have any quest help, um, that'll be faster in the comment and just to hang out. You can begin the quest by speaking to Izzelwyn, who's just west of the Low Zone in Ice of Dar. You can get here by going through the dense forest, stepping over the tripwire, going through another set of dense forest, and then stepping over the final trap. If they aren't here, you're going to have to wait about five, up to five minutes for them to appear. They are roving elves. So as I said, to begin the quest, you're going to speak to Izzelwyn in his little uh, area here with the pond. As I said, if he's not here, when you're in this area, you have to wait for him to come. They're roving elves, so they come and go from this area about every five minutes. Um, so you just have to talk to him and click through the dialogue until you get to your first option. Uh, the first option you're going to choose is tell the truth. Uh, when he asks about uh, desecrating his grandmother's remains. He'll be shocked that it was you, although you were trying to do something helpful and not just desecrate her remains. Um... So you offer to help, so you choose the first chat option, uh, maybe I could help, once this chat option becomes available. Izzelwyn will be excited about you offering to help um, put his grandmother to rest, so talk to Alund, who knows more about the process, and she'll tell you about a crystal seed you need to get from her tomb that she can enchant for her new resting place. All you need to do is click through the dialogue options. And she'll tell you where to go and what to do, but you're using a guide, so just listen to what I say. So, you need to go to Ardoin. Um, this is just uh, east of Baxtorian Falls, where uh, Glarial's Tomb is located. You had to go here for the Waterfall Quest. Make sure you have the Glarial's Pebble at this point. If you still need to go get it, now would be a good time, because you're going to need it to get into Glarial's Tomb, which is where we're going. If you do have the Pebble, however, or even if you're just at this part in the quest now, and you already had to go get the Pebble, um, now would be a good time to bank. So head to the bank, get your food, your ring of recoil. Because you're going to have to fight that level 61 without any weapons. Also, if you have any armor or weapons on you, make sure you put them in the bank as you won't be able to get into the tomb with them. As I said, the tomb was just uh, west of the fishing guild, east of the falls. When you get up to the tomb, you're going to use Glariel's Pebble on the tomb itself. And then you'll automatically be put down into the dungeon as long as you don't have any weapons and armor on you. Now any of these level 61 moss giants will do. They're going to drop the item you need. You can kill whatever one you want. You don't need to go down here at all for anything. Um, so... Just kill whatever one. I just killed this one. I'm going to speed it up because it takes a while to uh, kill. So you can just uh, fast forward um, to when I, I'm done with the kill. And play your video when you're done with the kill if you're following along.
Once you finally got the moss giant killed, um, you're going to make sure you pick up that consecration seed that it drops. You don't need to search the tomb. I couldn't remember if the amulet was in the tomb or the chest. It's in the chest. So head north um, and then to the west arm of the dungeon. And then you're going to open the closed chest down at the end here and uh, search it for the amulet. Now you can put that on now if you want. You're going to have to put it on at some point in this quest anyways. Um, so if you want to put it on now, go ahead. Exit the dungeon. And then you're going to home teleport back to um, Tyrannwyn. Go west from the lodestone, through the dense forest, and over the traps. As I said earlier in the video, if they're not in the little clearing with the pond there, you just have to wait for them to come back. Um, they're located somewhere in the forest, but you know they're going to come back there within five minutes, so you might as well just wait rather than look for them, find them, and then they teleport away. So what I did is once I was in the clearing, I was just waiting for them once I finally got over this trap. I think I get it here. Yeah, there we go. So I just waited for them to teleport in. There they are. You're going to want to talk to Elund once they come back. And she's going to enchant the consecration seed for you. And tell you to go plant that where Glarial's buried now. Now, because you took her ashes to the Waterfall Dungeon, that's where you're going to have to head once you have the Enchanted Crystal Seed. Once you're done talking to her, you're going to want to head to uh, Backstorian Falls, up to the house to the north, and use the raft to get into the Waterfall Dungeon. Once again, don't bring any weapons or armor, you're not going to need them. You can bring food, however. It's a bit of a long walk, but I tried not to speed it up that way. If you wanted to, you could follow along as I did the quest. Go to the house on the north side of Backstoring Falls, where the waterfall quest took place. Get on the raft. It's going to take you down to the little island there. And then use your rope on the rock across the uh, water. Your character will lasso it and swim across, pulling himself with the rope. 
and then use your rope on the dead tree on top of the uh, on the little platform we're on now. So we'll lower your character down to the door. Make sure you have the amulet equipped at this point or you won't get in, you'll get washed out, and then you can enter the door. Now you're going to want to run to the northeast room with all the skeletons in it. And search the crates that are stacked for a key. Now you can exit the room once you have the key. And you're going to go to the western path where the fire giants are. and run through all the way to the end room. Now once you're in, you're going to want to plant your crystal consecration seed. Anywhere in the room will work. A little tree is going to grow and then it's going to disappear. And now you can just home teleport back to Tyranwyn. and make your way back to Iselwyn. It's going to be the same path that you've taken every other time. I hate these traps. Anyways, make your way back to the clearing. Wait for them to reappear. And then you're going to talk to uh, Iselwyn. If you talk to Alun, she just congratulates you for uh, basically planting the seed. Talk to Iselwyn. And he's going to ask you if you'd rather have a crystal bow or a crystal ward, which is just a shield. You can choose whichever one you want. I took the bow. The bow is the first option, by the way, and the shield is the second option. And then once you take it, that's quest complete. If this helped you, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below if you have any questions, tips, or concerns. Subscribe if you haven't already, and if you're bored, check out some of my other stuff. I do boss guides, quest guides, event guides, just general RuneScape 3 videos. You know, who doesn't like those? Thanks.